Touching down to see the flood devastation firsthand, Anthony Albanese in Yugara, central western New South Wales, to hear from victims. Not to get off on a bad foot or a wrong foot or anything like that. Facing uncomfortable questions from one. Where have you been last week? Uh, I've been... Well, I've Overseas, started. I heard. Yeah, I was representing yeah. Australia. So, Obviously. yeah, un I understandable. But your people need to away. hear, sir. I've come straight away. Yeah. Yeah. I'm here. Acknowledging those hurting on return to Canberra for question time. I say to all those uh, who've been impacted by this, uh, the whole of Australia feels for you. His government facing persistent queries about its contentious industrial relations bill. Does the government accept Order. that the number should be raised to a higher number of full-time equivalent staff to acknowledge the concerns of our small businesses? This is one of the issues where consultation and negotiation is happening with the Senate crossbench. Including independent David Pocock, who's likely to be the clinch vote. I'm certainly not um, horse trading on it. I want to get this right. It, it affects too many Australians, too many workers, too many small businesses. This is not the right answer for small to medium-sized businesses. It's not the right answer for the economy. It's not the right answer for Australia. The government's already made substantial changes to its IR bill and is poised to make several more to win final parliamentary approval, even if that's without coalition support. But on establishing an anti-corruption commission, Labor's determined to achieve bipartisanship. To that end, it's amending its own legislation in a bid to satisfy Peter Dutton's team. Andrew Proben, ABC News, Canberra.